WM4 Competition Review What is it? It's a big moment. The first BMW M4 was a hit. Those of us who geek out over the lineage of performance cars saw renaming the two-door M3 in line with a motorway that passes slew as a bit of an affront. Meanwhile, those who actually spend big money on said performance cars bought almost twice as many of these as the M3 four-door it was so closely related to. BMW knows its customers well, and M4 buyers are what it calls extroverts. Which does a lot of the heavy lifting in explaining those elongated kidney grills, which don't actually look too offensive in real life, where the rest of the car's visual aggression, especially in optional Sao Paulo yellow paint, backs them up. Honest. Advertisement page continues below. In meme culture, they dominate the headlines, but in the world of sports saloons and coupes, of which the M3 and M4 are the epicenter, there are more pressing plot developments. Like the fact the 3.0-liter twin-turbo 6 up front now tops 500 brake horsepower, you can no longer have a manual in the UK, and the paddle shifters you're left with operate a ZF automatic rather than a more assertive twin-clutch transmission. Then there's the swelling in price, past £75,000, and weight, now over 1,700 kilograms. BMW says the additional weight has been invested in improved safety and emissions, which sounds like positive spin to rival I actually used lockdown to grow as a person. But one look at the new M4 competition stats, 503 brake horsepower, 479 pounds FT, 0 to 62 miles per hour in 3.9 seconds with RWD, a 180 miles per hour top speed, and the optional 2,765 pounds X drive 4WD, as well as an M3 Touring, suggests this is a car that's grown up. Plenty of people will argue it needed to. The first M4 arrived as the M3 family went turbocharged for the first time, and it wasn't an especially smooth transition. Those early F82 M4S cars could be spiteful, and the car forged itself a reputation for being a fair old handful. The sharper edges of its handling were blunted a little with the arrival of a facelift or lifecycle impulse in BMW speak and the more accomplished competition version, but anyone who'd experienced an M4's rear wheels spinning during a third to fourth up change, in a straight line, weren't exactly queuing round the block to see how much friendlier it had become. Advertisement page continues below. Mind, the garish grill and M-drift analyzer mode of this new G82 generation might suggest the cars retained some of its wild side, perhaps even amplified it. Time to have a go.